Hey fam, let me get you in the game today. We're gonna be making some absolutely delicious dirty rice. Now the ingredients will be in the description box below so you can go ahead and run, get those ingredients, follow this video from start to finish and let me get you in the game so you can make some absolutely delicious dirty rice. All right, I'm gonna be working with my Dutch oven on this recipe. I'm gonna get me a little bit of olive oil, probably about a tablespoon or so. And then I'm gonna get my chicken livers because you can't have dirty rice without either chicken livers or chicken gizzards or both, but I'm going with chicken livers. So we're gonna get these chicken livers over in this pot. We're gonna let these cook up. Now halfway through the cooking process of these chicken livers, I'm gonna crumble these up and this is gonna help it cook a little bit faster. Now I did drain some of the excess water content off of these livers. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of Cajun seasoning. We'll let that continue to cook. So when I got that liver where I want it to be, I'm gonna go ahead and remove it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get my Italian sausage. Now you can use ground beef if you like. I'm going in with Italian sausage with this dirty rice recipe. Now I'm going in with a pound of mild Italian sausage. Now we're gonna allow this to brown too. And then halfway through, I'm gonna add my Trinity into the party. Now this is about halfway through the process. I'm gonna go ahead and add this Trinity. And we'll let this sweat along with cooking this Italian sausage. Now when I got that Trinity where I want it to be, I'm gonna add me a little bit of minced garlic. We're gonna let that become fragrant. And in the meantime, I'm gonna add some more seasonings. So I'm gonna go back in with some of my baptizing Cajun season. Going back in with some garlic powder. I got some smoked paprika. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of thyme, a little bit of onion powder. We're gonna get everything mixed in. Now I got about a cup and a half of rice rinsed. Now at this time, I'll be honest with you, you wanna add a little bit more seasoning. And you probably should have tasted it before, you know, you put the rice in. Hey, see where you're landing because the rice don't have like no flavor. But if you're not using chicken broth, like what I'm about to do, like I said, add just a little bit more seasoning. Now you can season up if you like, at the end, no harm, no foul. It's always good to, you know, add a little bit more. At the end, then have a little too much and you can't do nothing with it. I'm gonna add about two and a third cups to this pot of rice. I'm gonna bring this temp back up, put a top on it, and then we gonna be in the game. Fam. Now this has been going on for about 20 so minutes. And I've been cooking this on a high. And the rice is about done. So, hey, we are about in the game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce my temp. Now, I know this is hot. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to give me a little quick taste and see where we are seasoning wise. I'm going to add a little bit more seasoning to it if we need it. But we might be in the game. Get this a little taste test. Hey, that's pretty good right there. Like I said, I'm gonna let this cool down. And while it's cooling down, now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna mash this up just a little bit. And then I'm gonna add this chicken liver into this pot. And then we're gonna get everything mixed Hey, yes, sir. Hey, that looks absolutely delicious, fam. Say, so get everything mixed in. Make sure we got that sausage and that chicken liver. You know what I'm saying? Mix well. Hey, I got you in the game. And there you go right there. Hey, dirty rice. Yes, sir. And you already know what I got to do. Hey, I got to get us a taste this. Cheers. Hmm. 
Hey, that's delicious right there. Give me another bite of this right here. Mmm. Hey, you in the game, fam.